Hi and welcome again to Take It Out. Today I've got a few items that have come in the post and there's a couple of other things I wanted to show you as well. So I thought I'd do a little sort of mailbag item. But first of all, I thought I'd show you the new camera that I'm using. This is the D3300 from Nikon. Uh, it's the VR version with the stabilization, so hopefully the videos should be quite uh, stable now and not shake about as they have been doing a bit in the past. And also, hopefully, we'll have a bit of a better image quality. It's got the standard lens, the 18-55, but hopefully I'll be able to get hold of uh, either a wide angle or a 50mm. So we've got a few items that have come in the post. I'm not exactly sure. I know I've ordered a few things, but I'm not sure which is which. So I think we'll start with the, the largest item and the heaviest and work our way through. I think my craft knife needs replacing. It's getting a bit blunt. Either that or plastic's getting very much harder to cut these days. So let's have a look what's inside. As usual, it's one of these flaps that are tight fitting so I've got to try and get my nails in ah right okay not so much high tech well in a way I suppose it is this particular one this is just the pump for it of course so I just pull this out the standard little cheapo foot pump And the main item. Is a gym ball. This one is a little bit different though. Simply because it's puncture proof, or so it's claimed to be anyway. And it comes from IQ Fitness, so if you want to have a look at that, you can do. They're not very expensive. We'll go for the smallest item next, shall we? No, I've been waiting for this. This is a short review on microphones that I want to do and I needed a lovelier mic I wanted to first of all try it out to see if it works better with the camera than the Rode Podcaster that I'm using at the moment but also I want to do a comparison with a few different microphones and I am going to use it for an old, a very old radio mic setup that I've got here which I'm going to show you in another video so let's move on to the next. And this knife is definitely getting very blunt. So we've got some pink foam, very nice. And some pink bubble wrap. Let's clear the top off here. We have a belt. I think you've probably guessed many of you exactly what this is already. Very simple system to put it on and two little studs there. Next we have a little charging dock, a little USB type A to two little studs again. And then we have this. It's a Zephyr HRM. It's actually the Zephyr HXM HRM heart rate monitor for when I'm in the gym. 
as you can see I've got a Microsoft Band 2 on my wrist. I want to just check it against something a bit more accurate. And this was unboxed and was extremely cheap. I mean pennies really. So I jumped at it. I believe they're about £70 new. And then the last of the boxes. Ah, right, yes. This is another for in my series of Is It Crap? It's a gaming mouse and it's an illuminated gaming mouse. And I've got to admit, I'm not going to preempt the, the test that I do of it and the video I do of it, but it's a lot better quality than I was expecting. And then finally, I want to show you this. Now, this I didn't buy, this is something that I made. I tend to collect things in case they come in handy for something or other. So I made this out of some of the parts I had in the garage. And it's a overhead filming mount for the camera. So I can fix the camera to the mount there and it'll point straight down to film what's underneath. And I can put it on the shelf above the desk here to film what's on the desk. If you want to see a video of me making one of these, I can certainly put one together. Just leave a comment below and we'll see what we can do for you. That's the mailbag finished then, so thank you for watching.